Honorable Mpele. On a point of order, Che. Ngiabongasalo. Che. There is a saying that goes, the numbers don't lie. Not che. only that, but numbers che. also speak volumes. And Exhibit A is the empty on seat to order, my right che. on this side of the house. But Chairperson, to give the benefit of the doubt, che. the ANC is starting to prepare and acclimatize themselves to no longer occupying the governing party seats, as will be the case after 2019. Now, turning to Minister Shabangu, you neglected to mention in your list of women leaders and activists another who was, in your words, an embodiment of, of the order. relentless march for democracy and human rights, namely in the person of the indomitable Helen Suzman. And Minister, you were complaining about the 10 women delegation of the Western Cape. Let me ask you this. How would sending more women to a commemorative ceremony have advanced women's emancipation? We as the DA actually understand what it takes to achieve that. The key to the systemic empowerment and structural emancipation of women is quality education and health care safe communities with effective policing and efficient criminal justice system, enough social workers, economic opportunities to build livelihoods and self-reliance for all women as alluded to by my colleagues. Now in all these scores, the ANC government is failing dismally. We have a shoddy public education system, shoddy public health care and a police service. Our economy is stagnant and growth is virtually at a standstill. The DA in government is the true vehicle of women's empowerment and emancipation through cutting corruption, creating jobs, and delivering better services. Niatanda Anitandi, that is the truth. In fact, Minister, if you would like to be somewhat useful in your portfolio, maybe you can find out why the Justice Department stopped cooperating with the Western Cape government in our successful campaign to track down child maintenance defaulters. That was a real, meaningful and substantive intervention to address an acute challenge faced by vulnerable women. But given that the ANC is practically allergic to effectiveness and excellence, but committed to impeding DA government success, the campaign had the plug pulled on it by your ANC government. And, you know, I must say, with respect to women's issues, the ANC is simply a walking contradiction. I start with the Honorable Gomba, who was here on the podium earlier, who is reported to have attacked a fellow woman councillor with a hammer at an ANC Women's League conference. Talk about violence against women, layer upon layer of irony. Let me not even start unpacking Marius Fransman. That just speaks for itself. And then we have the Honorable Jamini, who was up here before me, who is also reported to have gone on a quarter of a million rand jaunt for a Disneyland trip with her family and the bodyguard at taxpayer and ratepayer expense as the former mayor of Bombela. That is taking money out of the poor who need services and undermining women's empowerment and emancipation. No wonder, Chairperson, the ANC has become and is becoming a Mickey Mouse party. But to her credit, maybe, maybe the honorable member got confused. Maybe she thought I'm Honorable Zamini. She thought of the celebrity Minnie Zamini, and she was like, Minnie and Mickey Mouse. Oh, I belong in Disneyland. <laughs> Chairperson, I would simply like to conclude with something that will end this debate once and for all. Which party brought us the first female whip in Parliament? the DA. Which party brought us the first female leader of the opposition in Parliament? The DA. Which party brought us not just one, but two female leaders of the opposition in Parliament? The DA. And which party brought us the best mayor in the world, 
voted for in a public poll who was also a woman, the DA. Chairperson, I rest my case. Thank you.